Do you want to install two power supplies in one computer? Uh, this computer doesn't have, you know, the capability or the capacity to install two power supplies. So here I'm going to show you something that is very cool that I found. So as you can see here, uh, we have uh, this adapter. This is like, a, I mean, the size is like a regular uh, power supply, but you have two power supplies in one. So that is cool. So when are you going to use this? So this is mo uh, mostly for servers. So for instance, if you see, I'll show you uh, this. So if you see uh, this type of server, you know, these are the rakeable ra uh, servers. Uh, usually you are going to have uh, two power supplies in this. And this is uh, great because let's say you have uh, two phases, you know, with the electrical uh, company or you have two different uh, ba battery backups. You can connect one battery backup in one and one battery backup in, in the other one. Also, if one power supply fails, you know, you're going to have the other one and you don't have to turn off the server in order to replace it. So basically uh, with this adapter that I'm showing you right now, you're going to have the same uh, capability. So basically you can unplug one if it, if it fails and plug it uh, back in the new one and that's it. And, and the server will keep uh, running, uh, you know, using the, the other uh, power supply. So I like much uh, better this type of servers uh, than the, the regular one. So as you can see here, we are in, in HP website. So, and if you're here in the server section, as you can see, they offer tower servers. To me, uh, this seems like a very bad idea. I, I had a few customers with these type of servers, but you know, if you have a, a network rack, it's going to be difficult to have it, you know, laying around because you can have maybe one or two, but if, if you have, if you have to start adding a more, it will be more difficult. So I'm going to show you here. So that way you can see rack a network. And you see, if you say, if you see, if you have something like that, you know, you can put all the, the servers, you know, horizontally. Otherwise, if you have a regular tower, you have to be here on the floor or you have to buy a, a tray and in the tray you put the, the server. I mean, it's, it's a mess. To me, it doesn't make any sense. But uh, sometimes it's cheaper uh, buying these uh, tower servers than these uh, rack servers. So uh, usually people, uh, I mean, it depends on the company. If the company is uh, very tiny, uh, they are cheap, they're going to buy uh, this. If you, if you have a, a real company, you're going to use uh, this. If you go to the data centers, I have many uh, videos about talking about data centers when I, I go for any repair or maintenance, they have this. This is very rare that you're going to see. You're going to see this, like I said, most likely in very tiny companies. So basically this is how it looks like, but if you want to have the capability, you know, to have multiple, uh, power supplies, this is the, a great case. So with this adapter, I'm going to show you anyway, so the way you can see also, you have a dual power supplies in, in Cisco switches or routers, as you can see here. So you have a little bit of, of everything. And, and these are, uh, I think these are HP. So basically they are very economical if you have to replace them uh, later. This one, for instance, is $50. So the, the, this adapter, I'm going to show you the, the price. As usual, I am in US. If you need tools, electronics, just let me know. I can ship it to you. Otherwise, I'll leave you the link and you can buy it yourself. So as you can see, uh, we are about uh, $600 now. And also I saw that sometimes they have, you know, used one. So if you want to buy a used one here, they have it for uh, 320. Uh, I think if you want to have, you know, redundancy, this is a great, uh, option so that way you can have everything in one place. So basically, uh, here what you have is just the case, two power supplies, and the wire. And the wiring is the the same thing. You know, you're going to have everything uh, plugged in, and if one dies, this will this system will do the the switching between one and the other. So hopefully this video uh, was uh, useful. If you want to keep learning, you can go to the playlist. I have all my classes, you know, about how to become a computer technician, networking, and everything else in my playlist. Uh, so if you have any question, please let me know in the section below. I'll see you next time.